What's going on guys, it's Filthy and welcome to the channel. So this is going to be a more casual based channel than my Diablo 3 one. We're going to have a bit of mobile gaming on here, maybe some console stuff. But today we're looking at Raid Shadow Legends and this is going to be a tip for unlocking rewards and making progress in champion training tournaments. Now we have one on at the moment which is quite a tough one. Uh, you know, If you're a free to play player this is going to be very hard to do. You're going to need just under 2,000 points per day. I think it runs for about 10 days and it's 17,500 to do on the, on the level that I'm at. So I'm a mid-game player. I've only been playing for about six weeks or so. It's a you know, fun game of enjoying it, but obviously progress can be quite difficult. Now, having watched Salt's video on how to level things as efficiently as possible, I've picked up a tip that I think is going to be really handy. Now my strategy so far has been to take 4 star champions and level them up to 5 star. I've got one level 60 and a couple of legendaries but that's pretty much been the strategy that I've gone for. Now I've worked out a way of getting a ton of extra points just by using some XP brews and I really do think this is worth it so we'll, we'll go through the strategy, go through the maths and hopefully speaking it will show that it's well worth doing. Now this will I think extend up later into end game, you know the principle applies for 5 star heroes as well, in fact possibly even better than this, but it's a good way of getting points without spending too much energy, because the XP brews I don't think are particularly worthwhile. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a level 40 4 star hero, because we're going to get upgrade this guy, the Royal Guard, up to 5 stars. So obviously doing the prep for that you're going to need 4 rank 4 star level 1 heroes. So I've got 4 level 33 stars so I'm going to upgrade all of these to 4 stars. Now what that would do in the champion training tournament is it will give us 300 points. So if we look at the information that we get, going from 3 stars to 4 stars is 50 points. We're going to do that 4 times so that's 200 points. We're then going to take the Royal Guard and we're going to upgrade him to 5 star. So that would be a total of 300 points. And as I say, that's been my previous strategy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually give these guys some level upgrades with XP brews before we upgrade them. So we get 2 points per level for a 3 star and 3 points per level for a 4 star. So if we just go back to the champion training area, if you just pick a level 3 star one at random, and we give this guy an XP brew, He's going to go from level 1 to level 10. If we upgrade that, that's 18 tournament points. Now we're essentially going to do this for all 12 of our level 3 star heroes that we're wanting to use as food. So because we're going to get 18 points 12 times, that's an extra 216 points. We're then going to repeat the exercise with the level 4 star heroes that are rank 1. And then that's going to give us a ton of points. That's going to give us another 108 points, I think, if my maths is correct. So by upgrading the Royal Guard, we would normally get 300 points, but we're going to get 324 extra, so that should be 624. So obviously if we just look at the total that we've got, we'd have to take 18 off because we've just added 18 to it, but we should be at about 4,800-ish, 4,900, and obviously we'll be a lot higher once we've finished. So let's go through and upgrade all the champions and see where we are points-wise.
So at this point guys you can decide to do another XP brew on the swordsman for instance and it'll get us you know another couple of levels it's two per level so you, you'll be getting 10 points per XP brew I'm probably not going to bother because I'm going to have to do this exercise quite a few times I think to get the number of points per week but by all means you can stick an extra brew on it so if we finally upgrade the royal guard obviously I was hoping these guys would get to rank 10 but obviously they've only made it to 9 so maybe not quite as many points as I'd hoped but it's not too far off I think it's probably only going to be maybe 8 or 9 hours So there we go guys, we should have ended up with a lot less few points than this, so we've ended up with 5183, so as I say, over 300 extra bonus points completely for free, this is going to help me get to my 2000 total per day, I'm going to be doing this strategy because I've got enough XP brews to use, I don't really think that they're particularly that useful, so hopefully speaking this will help you make a bit of progress, maybe in this tournament, and maybe in future ones. So that's going to wrap it up today guys. Final thing, I've still got 23 specs in my clan, so anybody who wants to join, by all means, please do so. And other than that, I will be back very soon with some more mobile gaming content. Take it easy. Peace.